This video is going to be on an overview of hemostasis, and hemostasis is the stoppage of blood flow. I already have pictured here a blood vessel which contains six platelets, and below the endothelial cells is subendothelial collagen, which contains two proteins, von Willebrand factor represented in purple and tissue factor represented as green. So let's say that this blood vessel is injured and the endothelial cell is compromised and it exposes that subendothelial collagen. The von Willebrand factor binds to platelets because platelets have receptors for von Willebrand factor and those platelets act to cover that void. So it forms this primary hemostatic plug, which is also known as primary hemostasis. Now at the same time, tissue factor is released from the subendothelial collagen, and tissue factor then sets off this cascade of events which results in activation of different proteins within the blood vessel. And this coagulation cascade eventually results in the formation of fibrin. So fibrinogen is converted to fibrin, and this fibrin binds to platelets, and it actually forms bridges in between platelets. So it essentially firms up the platelet plug. So a combination of tissue factor activating the coagulation cascade and the formation of fibrin is what we call secondary hemostasis, or the formation of a secondary hemostatic plug. Now this uh, system has to have a counterbalance because once the blood vessel heals itself, that platelet plug has to be controlled or dissolved away. So to do this, the endothelial cells release something called plasminogen activator. And this plasminogen activator activates plasmin. So it converts plasminogen to plasmin, which is represented as the brown circles. And this plasmin then dissolves or breaks down the fibrin. So a combination of plasminogen activator and plasmin acting to break down fibrin is a process we call fibrinolysis. So this, uh, today's lectures are going to focus on primary hemostasis. Tomorrow's lectures are going to focus on secondary hemostasis. And then after that, you'll view lectures on fibrinolysis.